23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The pilot who ejected from a fighter jet this morning near Inyo Kern has been treated and released from a hospital. Officials say around 10 this morning, the pilot was taking part in a training exercise. Navy officials say for unknown reasons, the plane crashed in an open field. A small grass fire started immediately after the crash, but it was put out quickly. The Navy is continuing its investigation in cooperation with local authorities. A former McFarland basketball coach charged with sexual misconduct appeared in court today. We're talking about Fernando Pruneda. Back in 2018, a 15-year-old student says Pruneda offered him a spot on the varsity team in exchange for sexual favors. On top of this, Pruneda also sent the student explicit and threatening text messages. Today, he was sentenced to two years and he must register as a sex offender. Elizabeth Sarmento, the woman who took off from custody at the Community Transitional Reentry Program facility in Bakersfield last week, has now been located. According to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, CDCR agents apprehended her in Bakersfield on Sunday at 1 p.m. She was taken into custody and transfer transferred to the Central California Women's Facility. Officials say the 23-year-old was in the process of serving a four-year term for assault with a deadly weapon, a second strike offense. And here's a look at your weather headlines for today. Those hazy and warm conditions continuing until Thursday, but then we have a system moving in, cooling us down, and we're going to see those fall-like temperatures finally return later this week. So we'll be cool and breezy, even seeing some 60s in partial areas around Kern County, uh, expecting the coolest air that we've seen in six months. So definitely something to look forward to. But let's take a quick check of that wildfire smoke that we continue to track. You can see now we're starting to be in that light to moderate range. That air quality alert, though, still in effect from the National Weather Service. So it is for Bakersfield. Delano, Lake Isabella, Tehachapi, Fraser Park, Taft, and Ridgecrest. But let's get back to those cooler temperatures. You can already see port parts of Kern County starting to cool down already uh, on our temperature change map here. And so here's a quick look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow will be at 88, Friday 78, and then Saturday 74. Sunday, though, the one to look out for is 68, nice and breezy here in Bakersfield. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.